Roosevelt, I cannot help but note that it was through President Roosevelt's leadership and resolve that we were able to enjoy the public lands and experience our national parks. And it is in Roosevelt's conservation spirit that earlier this year, President Trump called on Congress to pass a historic agreement investing in our public lands. Last month, the Senate passed legislation that he called for. And later this month, we expect Congress will approve legislation to provide our national parks and pub public lands with the most significant investment in generations so that our children and grandchildren can fully enjoy the splendors of sites like Mount Rushmore. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, on this day in 1776, John Adams described his vision of how we should celebrate our nation's independence. He said it should be marked with pomp and parade, with show, shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of the continent to the other. 244 years later, President Trump fosters Adam's vision, even in times of challenge. Adams recognized, it's pretty awesome, Adams recognized that our Independence Day would bring American people together. By doing so, we can each reflect on and appreciate the principles and freedoms that bind us together to make America the greatest nation on the planet. Thank you, and God bless America.